Hello and welcome to Behold and Resold. My name is Courtney and today is the morning of Black Friday. So we have some orders from over Thanksgiving Day and into today that I need to pull and you're gonna help me out with that. So we have about 15 of them and they all seem to be pretty pretty easy shippers. So I'm very thankful for that because I feel like there's been several days lately that I've had to spend a decent amount of time Frankensteining boxes or reshaping boxes. Um, and I don't mind doing that, but sometimes it can um, be a hassle when you have to do a bunch of it. So today I don't think I need to do any of that. Uh, most of it's gonna be pretty easy packaging. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get into it. So it's Black Friday. What kind of person, what kind of Black Friday shopper are you? Do you even shop on Black Friday? Do you go out to the stores and the craziness to get all those deals? Or do you stay in the comfort of your home and uh, do the online Black Friday shopping? So I tend to do neither. If I do anything, I do it from home. I don't go out in the craziness. I think there's one time in my life um, at 44 years old that I have ever gone out on a Black Friday. It was for one item at one store. I went there, got it, or went there, stayed in line, got it, went home. So it's just not, uh, not for me. So, but I know there's plenty of people that enjoy it, even enjoy those crowds. So let me know in the comments uh, what kind of person you are and maybe a, maybe a crazy story that you have. So, but let's go ahead. The first couple orders that I actually already pulled because uh, I started to do that yesterday um, during Thanksgiving. So the first item is an Axion Elite Force Red Green Blue Dot Sight. Um, I actually picked this up at the yard, so it was on a paintball gun. Um, and I still ended up uh, piecing out a little bit. I sold the paintball gun separately uh, a few months ago. Um, and then, but I pulled this uh, sight off of it. Um, to sell separately so I have about five dollars into this and it sold let's see it sold for uh, $17.99 plus shipping all right so the second item um, pretty low, low dollar item is this figure right here um, it is dash um, from um, was that from Incredibles? Yeah. Um, so it's a little infinity uh, character for uh, like, you know, game systems. Um, so I picked this up at a yard sale. I picked up like a whole box of um, of uh, these. What are these things called? Um, I guess Disney Infinity. For some reason, I was thinking it was yeah, Disney Infinity. So I picked up a bunch of these Infinity. Uh, characters and some other uh, video game stuff at this yard sale. So I paid up a little bit for these. I'm not gonna make a ton of money on them. So on average, uh, these figures I picked up for about two dollars a piece. Some sell for more than others. Um, this one sold for $4.49 plus shipping. So not much there, but not bad. All right, the third item uh, we're gonna have to pull is. A vintage Sony Dream Machine. It's an AM FM digital alarm clock radio. Um, I picked this up at an estate sale for $2. All right, so it's in C7. All right, so oh, it's actually right here. It's, let's see if I can show you. Way up here. So, uh, it's a pretty cool, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very good. Um, but it's definitely vintage, pretty cool little item. Um, has some yellowing, which a lot of old plastic that's white uh, tends to happen. Um, but that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, next up we have an B7. So another one on the top row is a weather station. All right, so let's see. Station. Um, oh, I can see it right here. 
Oh, whoops. Well, that's two for two in videos that I've dropped something. So I feel like I am Dave the NC Picker because <laughs> MC Picker, NC Flipper. Seems like he drops something on most of his videos. Um, anyway, this is uh, a New Enter Wireless Weather Station. I think I got this in a mystery box. Yep, it was in a mystery box that the average uh, price per item was $10 or a little more than $10. Uh, and this sold for $20. I think I took an offer. It sold for $20 plus shipping. Next up we have in C6, uh, which is a Sony Cybershot digital camera. I think it is. I don't remember right. I've seen this recently. Yep. So it's in the case. Um, typically digital cameras aren't. Um, super valuable, but a lot of times they go for like 10 or $30, depending on the model. Um, I picked this one up at a, at a kind of a, a yard sale, estate sale um, for uh, a little more than $4. Or no, was this set it? Yeah, yard sale for $4. Um, and it sold for 25 19 plus shipping. So how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Did you eat a lot of turkey? Um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving item, like Thanksgiving food? Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a big turkey person, um, neither is my wife. So the, the meal that she made for the two of us uh, was not turkey, we had um, uh, we had ham. I like the, the whole entire meal that she made. Um, we have plenty of leftovers, so I'll probably be eating that later. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what uh, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food. All right, so the next item to pull, <laughs> so it's funny. If you watched my previous uh, item pull video from the other day, um, you may have seen this package sitting on my shipping table. And it had been sitting there for a couple of weeks because it was an item that someone purchased, never, never paid for. And it sat there um, until I think after my video the other day, I went ahead and put it back. Um, Cause I'd already canceled the, canceled the order, you know, like I said, a couple weeks ago, I just hadn't put it away. Um, and I think that day I put it back and the very next day it sold. So it's up in the, top shelf an A7 um, so it's already packaged up so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, I'll just slap the label on it but it is it was a KitchenAid meat food grinder attachment uh, like the auger screw um, if I think of it I'll try to uh, put a picture of it up here in post um, but this came at a yard sale I think I think it was a whole like the meat grinder assembly and I parted it out. Uh, I think there's three or four pieces that I parted out to maybe maybe five, five different listings. I can't remember now, but I, I think two, this, this might be the third one that's sold. Um, but I have about uh, like less than a dollar into this and it sold for $12.45 plus shipping. It's not bad. All right, next item I picked up at a Goodwill fairly recently it's an A4, and we have this, um, let's see if we can get a light on it here, um, Word Yahtzee. So I'd never heard of Word Yahtzee. Obviously, it seems to play similar to regular Yahtzee, but with letters on the, on the dice and making words, um, different length words. So it's, it's definitely vintage, uh, I forget if it has a year on it. 1982, 1982 Milton Bradley Word Yahtzee. So I picked this up at a local Goodwill um, for $2 and it sold for $20 plus shipping. So that's pretty good right there. So I'll say that caught my attention. A lot of times board, certain board games that, at thrift stores I'll, I'll look at, some I don't get because even vintage ones aren't necessarily worth it. And plus you have to 
go through and either make sure all the pieces are there, which if it's a vintage game uh, might not be very likely. Um, and even if it is, sometimes if it's a popular game that people want the vintage pieces, if they lose them or looking for replacement pieces, you can still uh, sell replacement pieces for pretty good though and part it out. All right, next item is, okay, I got this. Oh, so this was another kind of yard sale, estate sale sort of thing. It was being run by the family. Um, and I really like, and I've grown to like it even more since I've been reselling vintage cameras, especially vintage film cameras. This, this particular one isn't super valuable, but uh, I picked this one up at this estate sale where I got a ton of vintage camera stuff. Um, this one's a Kodak Duoflex 2. Um, with a Kodet lens. Uh, this is in the other room, so let me go pick that up. All right, so this is it right here. Um, it's one of like, like those old style uh, cameras. Um, and there wasn't a whole lot of testing that I could do with this, but I tested what I could and listed, you know, what I, what I was able to test. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. More likely, I'm guessing someone's just going to put it on a shelf to, you know, with other vintage camera stuff. Uh, probably a collector of some sort. Um, but that item, uh, I forget if I said it already, but it sold for twelve dollars and sixty-four cents, um, and I paid. Uh, so I got it in a bulk deal, so I have less than a dollar in in on that. So twelve sixty-four plus shipping, not bad. All right, next up we have um, an SD card. It's a 256 gigabyte SD card. 256. All right, so, yep, so we got it right here. Um, just making sure it's the right one. So again, I have a little over $3 in on each of these SD cards. I got a huge lot of them uh, from a liquidation company. Um, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. That was kind of weird. There was, there was someone who put in an offer, I countered his offer, and then I think he either came back with a counter or accepted my counter, either way. But then for whatever reason, when he paid, it, when it came across my phone with a notification, it showed that, he, that it was a full price sale. And I'm like, maybe it's a different person came in and, and, and got it. So I looked, no, it was the same, same person. This is like the second or third time this has happened in the last maybe two weeks on eBay. And so I don't know if eBay's changed something from the buying side and it's confusing buyers uh, and they're clicking on the wrong link or wrong button or something. So instead of, instead of paying for what the offer was, they end up paying um, like the buy it now price. I don't know, but eBay, if you're watching, you might want to check on that. I know you're not watching, but I <laughs> can only dream. Um, all right, next up is, oh, do I have this in here? Oh yeah, it's right here. It is right over there. It's um, it's a Therabody Theragun Elite Massage Gun. This thing is a very expensive uh, massage gun. And I'm gonna see if I can show it to you or not. Um, this is the second time I'm selling this item. The first time, so I got this in a, uh, in a liquidation lot, um, and I had, and it was sealed. It was completely sealed, brand new. Uh, I sold it and I sold it for like $240 plus shipping. And it got to the, it got to the buyer and he messaged me and said, Hey, um, you know, the, this thing isn't working properly. You know, I plug it in, I charge it. It shows charging all the way to 100%. And then uh, he unplugs it, doesn't turn on. If he plugs it back in, it starts charging again at, from 0% back up. So, so obviously I had him open up a return, return it back to me. I did look, um, cause at first I was kind of skeptical. Um, but when I did look, uh, it was a known issue for the, this model, um, so that, and it has the same serial number that uh, the gun, the massage gun itself has the same serial number as the box, which I had uh, matched up with what my record showed. So it's the same item, 
Uh, I tested it when I got back, and sure enough, it was, was doing the same thing that the buyer said. I tried to, uh, even though I know this wouldn't be covered under warranty because I didn't buy it from an authorized retailer, I did try to contact the company because sometimes they'll work with you. And the, the rep that got my email, he, he worked for probably, um, it was probably close to two weeks, at least a week and a half. Uh, he would email me every couple days and say, hey, I'm still working on this, you know, you know I'm doing this uh, with it. And so he tried everything that he could to try to get some sort of replacement or work something out for it. Uh, but in the end, it didn't work out, which is fine. I wasn't, I didn't have any expectations of, of them doing a replacement, but I know that companies will sometimes work with you. So I gave it a shot, but I relisted it for parts only. Um, and it sold for $58 plus shipping. Um, so that'll probably be about a break even because um, because the average cost per item for the items that came in that same box of liquidation, uh, the average cost was $55 per item. So it's really a break even, probably like even losing money after fees and stuff. But yeah, it, it'll work out in the end as I sell more of that box. Um, All right, next up, we have a Samsung Gear VR Oculus Virtual Reality Headset. Um, I don't remember where I got this. I think, the, oh, actually, I, th I think this came in a different, I don't know if it was the same, uh, mis or the same mystery box or liquidation box, but it was definitely a mystery box. So A6. Uh, Samsung, there it is. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to have to put you down for a second while I get this out. <clears throat> All right, so here we have the Samsung Gear VR. Um, I said I got this in a mystery box. Um, oh, yeah, so I've had this for, for a little while. I've had this since uh, since April. Uh, and it did come from a mystery box where the average item cost was $7.77. Um, and it sold, finally for $7.99, so another one that um, I'm not making any, any money on. But I think that particular, that particular mystery box, uh, I've already made uh, well into the profit on it, so it technically is profit now. All right, I think we got a few more items here. Some of these came in uh, just before I started filming. Uh, we have uh, another camera, it's an Olympus uh, Trip Autofocus, 60 35 millimeter camera if you don't know um olympus film cameras are tend to be really good items so let me where is this oh, another one doesn't have a um skew <sighs> well, i know this camera is one that i've picked up recently so I should be able to find it fairly quickly because these are typically um, typically near the front of my inventory bins um, but I am probably going to need to put this uh, you down so that way I can find it um, but it did sell for $49.99 um, so let me put you down and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I actually found it like the very first bin I went to right after I put the camera down. Um, so it was in um, it was in this D5 bin right here. Um, so pretty nice little camera. And like I said, it went for $49.99. Oh, so I got this actually at a thrift store. Um, and it was the first time I've gone to this thrift store and I'm definitely gonna be back. It's a local thrift store, but it's about uh, about a half hour away from me. And um, I was there a couple weeks ago for the first time, and I said I'll definitely be back because uh, it was a huge thrift store, locally owned thrift store. Some of the prices were a little high for a thrift store, but it's starting to become the norm, and some of the prices were pretty good. Um, so I only paid $2 for this camera. I picked up several cameras there. Uh, this one I paid for two, paid two dollars for it, and like I said, it sold for fifty dollars plus shipping. So 
That's a pretty good sale right there. All right, looks like we got three more items. So we have um, a vintage Tootsie toy brown gram car six wheel. So this, um, I've been holding out on this. I've only had it for a couple weeks, um, but I've had a lot of interest in it. Um, and it's probably gonna be hard to show on camera, um, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna come over to the window where there's a lot more light. So, um, so I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it closer to the edge. Um, I know Tootsie Toys can be pretty good, and this one is in really rough condition. Really rough. Uh, I mean, the, the four main tires, uh, the rubber is no longer there. It has uh, two spares, one on either side behind the front wheel wells, which is why it calls it a six wheel. Those tires, they're there, but they are severely uh, like dry rotted and, and I'm surprised they're still, still holding on. Um, it needs to be repainted. The grill on the front is a little, um, a little messed up. It looks like maybe even the one headlight is, is missing from the one side. So really rough condition. And I got this at a, an online auction at an auction place um, not too far from me. Um, they do weekly auctions. I think I mentioned that the other day. But they do weekly auctions, and I, I've started to get stuff from them the last couple weeks. And this was one of them. It came in a lot of other stuff. So let me look up how much I actually have in on this. I think it's only a dollar or two. Okay, I was wrong. I, I have, I mean, about seven or eight dollars on this thing. Um, it might be that I, when I was averaging stuff out, sometimes I'll um, put a purchase price uh, a little higher on something. Instead of averaging uh, and having everything be the same amount, um, sometimes I will kind of do a weighted average. Um, so since I knew this was a little more valuable than some of the other things in that lot, uh, I think I put a little bit higher value on this. So I put it down for like seven or eight dollars, um, but it sold for, I think, $26? No, nope. $24.70. I think I did. There was someone who uh, was trying to get it a lot cheaper. And he's like, oh, well, I'm going to have to repaint. I'm going to have to do all this. I was like, I understand. That thing like, in, in really good condition is worth a whole lot more. Um, so I, I felt like I had it priced at, at the right point. And since I had just listed it, I wasn't willing to go very low. Um, so I counter back. I was like, I'll, I'll go, you know, I think I maybe, maybe that's a different, no, that's actually a different person. I, I think he didn't want to, he didn't want to go at that price that I, that I countered him at. Um, but I think I sent out an offer yesterday for a 5% offer. And I think this person, different person took me up on it. So it's sold for $24 and 70 cents for a little beat up car, metal car. <laughs> so, um, oh, we have, I didn't, even, I didn't even see this one because it was one of the ones that came in right before I started filming. I just knew that we had a few new ones. Um, so it's another massage gun. This one came in a, in a mystery lot or mystery box. And so this sold, man, so this person probably got a pretty good deal because it's been, I just turned on uh, some coupons again. So I sometimes do like a 10% on stuff that's you know been in my store for so long and then a 20% when it's been a little bit longer. And I, I had I turned that back on uh, the other day, so um, so some of the stuff was starting to sell again. But I remember this is like a brand new item, well, new open box item. So, but it's in this case. Uh, I'm not going to take it out, but it's a it's a massage gun. Um, not as big and fancy as the other one or as expensive. It's one of the typical ones that I think you see uh, selling for around like $50 or so um, when it's new. So this um, I sold for $31.90 um, and I have, let me look real quick. Yeah, so that came in, in a uh, mystery box from a liquidation company that the average cost per item was $10.14. So selling it for $31.90 plus shipping, not, not crazy profit, but I'll take it. Uh, it's just been sitting for uh, since April. Um, so 
sometimes you just gotta, you know, put some discounts out there and um, and get it sold, clear up some space for more uh, more inventory. All right, and then I think we have one more. Very last sale is another camera. Uh, so Canon Sure Shot Owl Date. It's an A6. Man, this is like the third third item from this. Uh, that's actually right here. So uh, several things came out of out of that uh, bin. So it's just another the Canon um, Canon uh, film camera, 35 millimeter film camera. I sold that for $33. I believe it, I think I took an offer. Well, I think they they offered they had it listed for 35. They offered 31. I counted at 33 in the middle, and uh, they took it. And I got this at a uh, a different local thrift store just down the road from me for uh, seven dollars. Um, so seven dollars into 33, not bad. So that's 15 items. Um, so that's the 15 items that sold today. Well, uh, in the last day and a half or so over Thanksgiving and uh, overnight into this morning. So really good sales. That was 15 sales that I think uh, gross was about um, 500, $512. So that's a pretty good day right there. And most of it, uh, most of it is pretty, pretty easy packing, like I said. So uh, nothing, nothing huge. Um, so it should, uh, shouldn't take me too long to get this packed up. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you don't mind, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this style of video. I know other resellers that do YouTube, uh, some of them do this sort of, um, this sort of video where they're showing their, their, uh, pullings when they pull orders. And, uh, this is the second time I've done it. Um, it's a learning process, so it's not as smooth as it will be as I do it more and more. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this sort of video, if you enjoy it, uh, if you'd like to see more. I plan on, on trying to do um, at least a couple of these a week. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's kind of hard because obviously this is not my full-time job. I have a daytime job that I do. Uh, and. Uh, so sometimes that makes it a little bit hard to have time to do uh, all this filming. So, all right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you all stopping in and watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, please do so. It helps me out and it helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and I'm trying to grow this channel. And um, so the more subscribers, the bigger the family, the bigger the fun. So I'd appreciate that. Um, again, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I know it's the day after Thanksgiving and it'll probably be a day or two until you see this, uh, or at least until I post it. But um, I hope you had a, a great, happy Thanksgiving. And until next time, keep on flipping.